nanopolymer adhesive, the world's first and only high temperature build plate adhesive for 3D printing. <laughs> When you're printing expensive materials, you need to make sure that your part is stuck to the bed and you're not gonna have a failed print because of lousy bed adhesion with something like glue stick. Now, keep in mind guys, this is designed for professional high-end polymers. If you're running a print farm or if you're doing the high temperature functional 3D printing, this stuff will seriously make your life way easier. So after spending almost a year designing this for and developing this for high temperatures, we slapped it on the Ultimaker and found out it worked great for things like ABS, PETG, nylon, even PLA, it improves the process dramatically. One of the best things is it only takes about 15 seconds to apply, it's really easy to clean up, and it makes part removal a breeze. If you're using one layer on a 7x7 build plate, you can get about 300 coatings. The way you use this stuff is first you're going to clean your plate. Uh, you can use Windex or other ammonia based cleaners, and alternatively use water and finish it off with alcohol. You're going to take the applicator bottle, hold it like a pen, and then draw an X on the build area where your part will be, and then draw a circle around that. So then you use the brush and you spread it out evenly. On a 7x7 seven seven area, this usually equates to about half a gram of glue. If you're doing a really thick or a really complex high temp part, you probably want to do about two coatings. For best results, do it in one direction and then do it in the opposite direction to make sure there's no gaps or anything, no missing areas. You only need to apply the glue where you're actually printing, so you can actually use a lot less depending on your part. When you're done using the brush, just clean it off with water and put it to the side to dry. So removing your part, uh, this is a really cool element. On low temperature materials like nylon or PLA or ABS, you can actually just let the plate cool and the part will literally pop itself off the plate. For high temperature prints, you still have to go and get that part off as quickly as possible. The difference in shrinkage between the glass and the actual part is so dramatic that it will break your glass, just like any other method. If you're using carbon fiber, e-glass, or uh, any kind of coating on top of the glass, you don't have to worry about it. You can actually just let it cool down. We like to use our carbon fiber build plates, which you can actually bend and pop your plate parts off. Uh, works great for spring steel and a lot of other build plate materials out there on the market. So when do you need to reapply? On Peak and Ultim and the really expensive high temp filaments, we recommend every single time. You want to clean that plate really good before you start your next print and put a fresh layer of glue down. We've sent our glue out to hundreds of different print shops and different users and different people. Our glue is at a bunch of giant companies and they're using it for Peak and they're using it for Ultim and they've loved it. So we finally released it to the public. It works awesome and you can pick up a jar online today. If you've got any questions, shoot an email to contact at visionminer.com or give us a call at 833-774-6863. Based here in Southern California, we love talking to people who love 3D printing. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.